Hey everybody, welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. I'm Larry the Pen Butt Guy, and I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad that you're back with me. Peace. Hey, how was everybody's Halloween? Well, let me give you a quick rundown of our happy Halloween. We had zero, no trick-or-treaters. They were on the block before us, a bunch of kids, but for some reason, they never come down to this end. Don't know why, but oh well, no trick or treaters, plenty of candy left. If you're not doing nothing, drop by the house and grab yourself a handful. Today, I'm going back to the ink collection. I'm doing some different inks and I'm going to be with uh, doing it on the uh, Franklin Kristoff tablet. And this is the sugar cane paper, and I do have the grams of the paper weight. 90 G's is the paper weight. Again, thank you, Mike, for letting me know, because that's been bugging the daylights out of me, trying to find out the weight of the paper. Good, smooth paper. For me, works very well, and it's been doing really well working with different inks. So I've chose this tablet to do all my uh, ink tests with to show you what the ink looks on paper. Okay, you with me? Uh, I may use a fountain pen when I'm writing down the name of it, uh, the same color of the ink, or I may just use a QT and a different kind of pen to write the name down. Are you cool with that? Good. What do you say? Let's get with it. Ring my bell. And let's get with the ink samples. <clears throat> and the first one is going to be... <clears throat> Noodlers, USS Texas. All right. So let's get this ready here. Here's the ink that I found very interesting. And a friend of mine, Kara Overman, sent this to me. Excuse me. Now, when I first tried the ink, it really didn't do much for me. And that was cool. But then, you know, it didn't take but maybe a few more uh, times using my pen. And you know what? I do like the ink. Very nice ink. So that's a cool ink. There's so many noodlers I have yet to explore. Uh, it just, uh, it's a never-ending uh, uh, love ink bath when you doing the Noodlers inks, I think, because Noodlers has some really fantastic, cool, affordable inks. So that's that one. <clears throat> Alright, the next one, uh, for a I'm sorry, I'm skipping the whole thing. I need to put that on my ring card here real quick, and then we can move on. And then later I'll do the same in my life journal uh, ink book. So I'll keep all these in order. And uh, that's what it looks like on the O-ring card. On the Franklin Kristoff sugar cane paper as well. Put that aside. Now we'll go to our next one. This one is Noodler's Cardinal Kestrel. And Kestrel, okay. All righty. Let's get this a going. It looks interesting. Interesting ink. Uh, it looks, would you say, kind of pale on the paper, but then on the stock, it looks, uh, a darker color. So, 
What color of ink would you place that? Kind of a pink purple? Or? No, it's a, it's a reddish. It's a reddish? So we'll set that aside and let's see what the other side looks like. Holding up real well, no problem. And we move on to our next one. This is J. Urban Rusty Anchor. All right, J. Urban Rusty Anchor. It also has a French name that we don't know how to say. Right. Okay, we'll forget that. And, you know, you don't want me to even try to say it because I'll just butcher it. Now that is definitely weird. What do you think, Mr. Announcer? Do anything for you? Well, it looks like rust, yes. Yep. Does it? It's interesting. Yeah, it, it, so far, my first look, it didn't do anything for me. It didn't grab me. It just didn't give me that lift I like in the ink. But that doesn't say down the road it may not. So, this is just my first instinct thought that comes to mind. Did it grab me? No. Will it grab me? Time will tell. And we'll see. And the paper did well. And the next one, uh, Anderson Interno Orange, Diamine yeah. Interno yeah. Orange. So, yeah, Anderson is where I got it from. The name oh. of the ink is Diamine Interno Orange. And uh, this is the orange I already have on the stock that I did uh, last year, October 25th, and that's what it looks like, okay? So now we're going to do it on the Franklin Kristoff Sugar Cane Paper. Believe it or not, why am I doing it like this? Because I've had, believe it or not, a lot of emails ask me to do this. So I said, okay, I will do it. But, uh, you know, there are so many reviewers doing ink tests. And uh, I just thought I'd just give you a quick rundown what the ink looks like on paper. And it is a beautiful ink. It really is. Just look at that uh, sparkles and shines and it just dazzles, it razzles. It just, it, it's a cool, beautiful orange, isn't it? And there it is again. You can just see it sparkle against the light hit it. Really a pretty ink, really nice. So that's a grabber. And on these kind of inks, you know, you want to make sure that you uh, flush out your pens real good, you know, get a soft toothbrush. This is what I do anyway. Um, and I uh, clean up my feed and make sure none of the little goody sparkles and stuff stay in the uh, feed. Get it all cleaned out and get it ready for my next lovely ink that I use. All right. And the next one. This one is Robert Oster Pinky. All right. Robert Ulster Pinky is, uh, well, Robert has just a bunch of really great inks. People love Robert Ulster inks a lot. I'm, I, I'm one of them. Great inks. And uh, here's what it looks on the cardstock. Now we'll just do it right here. Ink it up, baby. All right.
and let's see. And the paper again held up very well to the five different inks and it has done a, just a really good job. Yeah, sugarcane paper is, is really a nice paper. It feels good. It feels good to the touch of the hand. Uh, again, I like the, the line paper. The, the lines are very pronounced but not so overly pronounced that it will distract me from when I'm writing in a, the tablet. Uh, not a nice paper and uh, I like the way the perforated pages are so I can tear them out when I'm ready so that's it on this ink samples for today so I hope you enjoyed it I hope some of these colors are kind of kicking in your mind if you like them if not be kind enough to leave me a comment with your thoughts about these inks. Because uh, I'm always interested what you guys think about the uh, inks. Uh, back to the Rusty Anchor. You know, it didn't do much for me. But right now, it's starting to get a... I'm starting to get a second look at it. Uh... On the Noodler's Cardinal, I haven't picked up on that yet. Of course, the Internal Orange, lovely super duper ink. And Robert the Pinky hadn't grabbed me yet. So that's how I stand on them right now. And let me go back real quick to the uh, Baby Penguin uh, pen I did the other day. Here is the Chinese blue ink. And, you know, that is not a bad looking blue ink for what it's worth. I think it's really nice. And then as we go up to the uh, St. DuPont Royal Blue, that's really a pale blue. It really doesn't grab me, and it hasn't yet. And last but not least, the Levenger Forest ink. This grabbed me instantly. It grabbed me so much that I ordered a bottle of this ink. You know, usually as my rules, I don't order bottles of ink until I'm sure I really fall in love with the ink. That's why I get a sample. This one, it was instant marriage for this ink. For me, works really well. I love the ink. Can't wait till I get it in. So, that's going to wrap it up, folks. And thank you again for joining little on me on my channel you want to help me you sure can you can share this with all your friends which I hope you do hit that like button and again leave me your comments below tell me what you think about the inks and your honest opinions you know I everybody's entitled to their own opinion and uh, so let's all be nice and friendly and don't be bashful Talk to you later, and don't forget, don't text and drive, my friends. We'll see you next time. Peace. Later, folks.